welcome back guys how you doing today um i wanted to go ahead and do my second week of account review i wanted to get this out a little bit sooner but i've been super busy i had like to rearrange my room i got a new desk so i can have a little better workspace um so i've just been super busy but i wanted to go ahead and give you guys this account review and let you know where i am at right now and what i have done so with that being said as you can see here i am currently level 42 and being level 42 is fan freaking tastic uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh characters actually before i even do that i want to put um let you guys know as well so being part of the creator uh the creator content i had gotten gems from them in order to use it which i think i told you guys the last week uh, when i did this update um this week I, what i did was i went ahead and i purchased one thing so i did use a little bit of money um and i purchased the where is it at i purchased this right here the double rewards for this it was like 15 dollars. and the only reason why i got that is because i wanted to test out something and i if if it, if, it's, if it seems legit i will more likely make a video on it but i'm just testing and filling the waters out for something right now and i needed these gems in order to get me to what i wanted to do so that was all that's all I, that was all i gotten so far which is like i said 15 bucks and yeah so let's go ahead and jump into the characters so here we are my characters are all level 42 um my lily will is doing fantastic i finally got her best bow which is the whale hunter super excited it'll be my first thing that i'm getting up to level 50 this will be my first level 50 weapon um and i, I definitely want to talk about this later on but not right now and i got her the true lens and and i'm currently using uh this right here on her still the stats are bleh don't worry about these. These are horrible. I will get new ones and get better stats. That's the real end game right there. But right now, my Lily Will jumped up to being my strongest character. And then followed by my Cole. Nothing's really different with Cole. Uh, Don Talion. Um, all of them are pretty much, you know, been upgrading them. Uh, my Rewa. I got her weapon up. Um, so this is pretty much where my character's at. I did end up getting a new character in the form of Nungle. I pulled her. Um, I'm not mad about it. Um, I'm actually kind of happy. I, I like her kit. I like her skill. And she's going to go perfectly great with my uh, Dontalian because I want to use him more. And I have not been using him more. I've been using my kind of like my mainish team, which is Lily Will, Cole, Raria, Nona Will, Momo, Samantha. Um, and I've just been kind of rotating characters in and out based off whatever the content I've been doing. Um, so I definitely want to be using Dontalia more so I can have him and follow him with Nungle. So she's really good pickup. I'm actually kind of happy about that. Um, but that would be my new pickup. Also, you're going to notice that I leveled up quite some new characters in um, in the forms of Blade, uh, Divine Grace, K.A. Guard, Papal Pikeman. I've leveled them up to 42, um, Stormbreaker, and An no, I think Angel is always up there. Uh, Papal Guard right there. And for the most part, I leveled a lot of these guys up. For the sole fact of running the uh, dungeons and doing the repeats, um, I I like doing repeats. Repeats makes it nice and easy. Makes it nice and uh, makes things just nice and easy. So I've been running a lot of the when I'm doing my dailies. Um, the dungeon I've been running the most is the Radiant Forging, and I'm gonna keep it a straight hundred with you. Um, for me, and this is not saying for everybody, this is for me, this right here is the most valuable dungeon to me because getting these radiant powders is a pain in the ass. Um, you, you need a lot of these. You need a lot of these to level up your gear. And I run, when I'm like doing spamming repeats, 
I'm going in for these. This is what I want because leveling up the gear and getting them up to level 50 is going to be a chore. It's going to be a task. So this is the dungeon that I spam my uh, energy the most on. Uh, I know some people were, are talking about using the star trials and the star trials is cool and all it, it's, it's cool and all, but honestly, in a situation I'm in where I want to get my gear leveled up, this is the most important dungeon to me. So whenever I have a lot of energy or despair, after I do all my dailies, like throughout during the day, I will spam this dungeon just so I can get these up here so I can level up my gear. That's more important to me than anything else. And then I, you know, run and do all these right here. Um, I managed to get weapon dungeons up to level 50, which is really nice. All of my left, all of my weapon dungeons up to level 50. I will be working once I hit level 45, I'm going to work on the trial twos, 55s, and I might make a video out of it. Mm, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, but I'm definitely going to be working on doing those level 55 for the trials and yeah everything else is pretty much capped out to whatever they need to be and yeah so that's it for those um for the fool's journey i'm on the last one uh which is the chapter six yeah chapter six is the last chapter for this current build of the game can't wait for the new builds to come because to my knowledge we're going to unlock some very some very cool things uh once we hit chapter seven chapter eight we're going to unlock some really cool things and i'm super excited to see how they work uh the weapon engravings that's i think that's going to be unlocked in chapter eight um so i can't wait for that uh but i'm not really focused on doing these and spending my energy on these like i, I can wait and hold off on it for now uh and then i'm um, spiral of destinies with spiral of destinies bah, 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 bah. i have been doing let's see the voyage map so i'm right here which is uh, execute the trial of peace so that's currently where i'm at um where is it at yeah so 11 months three weeks mercenary group level 36 uh that's where i'm at in the trial of destiny chapter six so very cool i love the child of destinies um the spiral of destinies huh, trial of destinies i love the spiral of destinies nice fun relaxing when i don't have any energy i can just kind of sit here and chill and do that and it's very nice and it's very relaxing and i love it uh let's see furthermore um what else oh the events let's take a look see where i'm at in events right now so Currently, um, I stopped doing this. I'm not chasing after this anymore. I stopped. I spent gems on this in, in the beginning trying to unlock this. I stopped. Um, I have plenty of time. If I pull a barrel, I'll go for it. I do want it. Don't get me wrong. I do want I'm a sucker for skins. I am a sucker for skins. But I had to stop because, you know, I had to be, I had to be, you know, very particular with my gems um so yeah i stopped that in the early in the early stages of the game and with the new event right here explorers of chaos i am almost done with it i've always you know i've almost had it finished anyway so um i just have to do six five and then i have to do the star trail star trials 10 times and then the weapon trials five times and then the tarot's 10 times and then i'll have this completed like once this came out i instantly just had gotten everything in the tower of conquest um i just have to complete these and then i'll have this done um this is really no biggie right here and in the dawn i have completed all of the dawn current progress 18 18 so i got all the rewards in the dawn and that's it for right now. I know later on today we're supposed to be getting the Eda banner and the new event, the um, the Imperium Feast, I think it's called. We're supposed to be getting that. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I'm bad with names. Um, yeah. So we're supposed to be getting that. So uh, when that starts up, I'll probably be jumping in. Uh, with the Voyage Memento, I'm almost done with this. Uh, once I get this piece level fit my bow to 50, I'll have this, and then I'll have 
this progression. I have a copy of this Meteor Line bow, which I'm just going to fuse it into one of my other bows. I have two of these already, so I'm just going to level up one of them and then keep the other one separate because um, I'm pretty good on archers right now. But I might not because I think I have another archer I just got um, with the Divine Grace. And I do want to level them up for reasons. Um, so, yeah, I might. I don't know. I'll think about it. And then the challenge quest, I unlocked this one, but I have to unlock this one. So I'll just do the hard mode for 511 to get this really fast. I do need that Castellia. That Castellia is important because I ran out of Castellias. I've used up all of my Castellias. Don't ask questions. And I can unlock this right here as well. But getting six pieces to 50 is going to be a pain in the ass. And they only give you back 40,000, which is so bad. I hate that. Because I'm going to use up way more than 40,000 in order to get five, six pieces up to 50. That's <laughs> refunding me all of Radiant Power is the huge commodity for me. I, for me, Radiant Power is the, uh, it's a huge commodity for me. I need Radiant Powders. And then I'm about to unlock this one, which gives me a Rariwa, um, uh, what's it called? Memory, memory fragments. Um, so I'm about to unlock that. So we'll, 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 we'll see. But, and then on the next phase, we get another Rariwa. So I'm excited about that because then I will get my Rariwa, make her much, much, much stronger. And I like her. I like her a lot. Um, she is a huge heavy hitter. Um, I am going to change her weapon though, because I just got the, um, the tuning hammer. So I want to switch this up with the tuning hammer so that she can get that dispel. Dispel is also my, one of my, you know, anything that gives dispels, I'm a sucker for. I will jump in and get anything that has dispel on it for, um, either gear or for characters. Um, so yeah, I want to get that, put that on her, but she's almost yeah once i pull and get that she's going to be three stars which is going to be lovely getting this extra effects and extra damage super excited um but yeah and then oh and then for the memory fragments i am leveling up momo so i want my momo i want i want to get my momo up and then i'm leveling up mm, excuse me nona will and after Nuna Will, I'm doing Lily Will. So I'm, those are the three people that I'm doing in the in the memory fragments right now. And once they get maxed out from the daily farmings, then I'll work on some more people. Um, I think that's everything for my account. I don't think I'm missing anything. Um, characters that I want right now, currently, that I'm, that I'm striving for... Um, Oh, I guess we can look at the talents real fast. Uh, under the talents, I got everything gold. I'm at gold across the board. These are important too. I like, you know, these are important. And I, and I would be leveling up the talents right now if the gear, if getting radiant powder wasn't just so, so important. I can't stress how much I need radiant powder and how to me it's the most important thing. Like I said, maybe for your account, it might not be the most important thing, but for me, it is a hundred percent the most important thing. Um, just to, again, just to show you that I've only gotten that one. I've only done this one time. That's one thing I've done. Um, and then in the exchange, uh, we don't do that one. I'm slowly but surely creeping up on unlocking stuff. I haven't started feeding the um, legendary gear yet. Uh, I actually might feed that bow as a le um, just to see, just to see how much do I get for that. Because if I get five hundred, I'm I, it's, it might be worth it for the random gear. It's not worth it, not right now, not this early in the game. Let me stop talking. Let me stop talking crazy stuff. Um, right here, reputation. I could get the random tarot right here because I I got a lot of reputation stuff. Um. I'm, I'm, I'm considering just, just unlocking all these things, but the inventory refreshes in two days and radiant powder. So I'm saving up all this because in two days, radiant powder, also star particles, because I do do the bonds. Momo is about to be completed with her bond charm with her bonds. So I have this and this as well. So I'm gonna wait until 
this is resets before I before I use it for anything, for these tarot's or anything like that. And then memory crystals, I'm sitting at 3000 right now. Um long way to go from this. This is the next thing that I'm sa I'm saving up everything for this. And I've almost gotten to a point where every pull that I get for common and rare is going to be um added to conversions. So I'm almost to that point. And once I am, that means anytime I do pulls, it's just automatically going to go to here, which is going to level this up significantly faster. And then I can get to this faster. And then I can also get these things after that. Because my goal is to get this first and then get these afterwards. And then, you know, I'm a sucker for cosmetics. So I will get, I will end up getting all this stuff somewhere down the line. Like somewhere down the line, I may end up getting like these Castellas, definitely. Like I will end up getting all this somewhere down the line, but for now, but for now, but for now, we're saving up for the legendary character selector. Um, I also want to see, like I said, like when Ida drops, I want to see if this updates because if Ida drops and this updates, that can be very huge, right? Like not anyone else, anyone else doesn't who, who thought about that. Um, that might be huge. So it might be a nice little slick way. So I'm gonna wait till Eda drops and I wanna see if this updates. Because if that does, then that just means, that's just one more cool thing to add onto the list of um, of why that this is gonna be important to get down the line in the future. So yeah, that's it guys. Uh, that's it for my account review. Um, I will see you guys in more videos. I have a lot of videos planned out right now and hopefully guides that'll help you guys um, understand the game and the concepts a lot more. And please make sure you like and subscribe. Um, I'm still trying to get a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. And there's a lot of you who are watching the videos but aren't subscribed to the channel. Please help me out. Um, that would make things so much easier and that would be very helpful. 1,000 by the end of the year, that's my goal. And I really think I can hit it and with you guys' help. So please like, subscribe, throw comments if you have any questions. If you ever have any ideas for videos that you want me to do, please throw in the comments. Um, like I said, I'm always up for growth, changing, and all that. And, you know, even if I make mistakes, you know, feel free to always comment. Let me know, hey, you made, you fucked this up. Fix this. And I will gladly fix and redact. If you haven't seen my EDA video where I redacted my, my first EDA spotlight and made an up-to-date one because shout out to the um, developers for putting me on these the test server. So it may, it's going to make making videos so much easier, so much better. But yeah, so 1,000 by the end of the year, subscribe. I really could use the help and I could really use the love. If you guys like, you know, if you, if you like the content, even if you don't like the content, even if you don't, don't like the content, if you hate my content, go ahead and subscribe. Still do it. Help a brother out. I, help a brother out. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.